to install industrial craft you're going to want to search in in google industrial craft 2 then the first one should be main page and it'll be their wiki and then to go to download it you have to go to this navigation box in the left click download then you can either click here you can go industrial craft 2 or you can scroll down to it and then you can go download client I'll show you how to do the server one in another episode here you got the client jar but to install it you want to scroll up and go so here's setup okay so now you have to download uh, Rishugami's mod loader so we can load the class files this is so we can not screw up other mods if you have some installed so now we have that you can go to flans mod loader mp and it brings you to here oh. oh here we go then you have to go i, I like media fire better cuz it's just faster you want to down make sure you download the client not the server download that X these and then now we want space toads mc forge and again, I'm gonna go Media Fire link because I just like Media Fire. Then you download that. Get rid of these ads. And now we need to install all the the mod loaders and the forge. So now I I need to generate a new dot Minecraft. So I'll do that now. Minecraft, so I can X that. Put up here. So to get to wherever, where if you want to get to your dot Minecraft, go up here and then put in slash app data, then another or not slash a percent, percent app data percent. Click enter. And then you just look for your dot Minecraft folder. And you have to go bin, and then. It, you should have some kind of program for opening jar files. I prefer WinRAR. I'll put a link in the description on how to get it. And anytime you want to install any mod at all, always delete the meta inf because that's pretty much a mod checker. Tell it if there's anything different, it'll turn off your Minecraft. So now opening mod loader, we should. We need to stick that in first. You have to install them in order. So I installed that one. Now I have to install Flans Mod Loader MP. Just take all the class files and drag them in. Just copy them in there. And now uh, MC Forge. All you have to do is drag them in there. But you have to do it in order. So make sure you put all the all these files in there first. Then all these files. Then all these files and you have to put them in your minecraft.jar in your bin folder okay so now we can install the we can actually put in the industrial craft so to do that I want to go back out of here and then run minecraft once should make a mods folder yeah it adds all the other mod all the other folders now all you have to do to install industrial craft put it in there and now you have industrial craft so now let's test this out it's working so now we just need to check out creative so I don't have to actually make the materials myself just to show you it's working. There we go. There we go. 
go. See, here's industrial craft. I have diamond drills and lapitron crystals, dynamite, which is rather awesome. It's like controlled TNT. Boom. There's lots of items you can use. This is quantum armor, really hard to make. Gives you special abilities, though. Reinforced stuff. New materials, new ores. Some of this isn't shown in creative mode. If you want to actually be able to cheat for all of it, you're going to want to install too many items, which I will show, how, show you how to install in another video. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So enjoy industrial craft and play around, have fun. I'll show you how to make a server on a on my next video and you can play you can play this with your friends. It's adds a lot of functionality to the game. Adds power and everything. So bye.